we, have, we regretfully we only have a few of the books left, and the books are out of print. Okay, so we've got a few books. Left. Actually, this was a street at the time, coming all the way through here, and this would have been the sidewalk. Come down a little bit further, right about, even with that sidewalk, right about here is where Ollie and Stan tried to push the car, and it fell into the, the gutter, and then the street sweeper came by and got them wet. So right about where we're standing is about where they would have uh, right in here is about where they would have sit. It fell on the ground. They would have came out of these buildings here. I think they were getting a shoe shine at one time, and then they met the girls. And, and behind us, you see the hotel, and then that would have been there. And that guy's across. The and that's right across the street. Okay, we good? We're good. All right. Those that didn't get pictures, come to the front. The rest that did, go back by the hotel, and we'll show you something there. but it's not an old theater at all, okay? Um, one of our banquets at the Way Out West end, we placed the sign here, the third one down, the Culver Hotel since 1924, with the images of Stan and Babe. Um, the night in 2003, it was, I got here to the hotel, this is the only full banquet I ever missed of Way Out West, because then there were fires near my house and evacuated my mother, so I had to, I said, if you really want to come and get you, I got a banquet going on here. <laughs> <laughs> we went and got her, but that's priorities, uh, priorities. So take a picture of, of this. Now, um, they're gonna go, they're going down to the Culver uh, City City Hall. We're gonna go on Main Street and then come back around and those that want to walk down there for that one location. Obviously, this is the front of the hotel. If you look at picture 1A, come on, come on all the way out in the front so you can, people can see it. Move all the way, move all the way. One, one A obviously is the front, and um, one B is the door here on the side. With one C, and one D is just where we came up. So if you're looking at that with one D, that's where they would have ran up in the second hundred years. That has been changed a little bit further down on the right, that whole area. I thought you'd want to get a picture of both of them at one time. You can do that but it has obviously been remodeled. And Jimmy has pointed out in picture four, the doors there, a little bit farther down. You can see the arrow where the doors are. It's a little bit farther down, so if you want to walk a little further down to see it, you can Is do that. Is that Rocco's? Yeah. yeah. I saw those when yeah. we were eating in there. Right, okay. Oh, this one. Well, we'll walk down there whether you want to or not. <laughs> <laughs> Back. You gotta see this. Oh, sure. Taking us down alleys. That's right. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, nice. Okay. I bet it is. 
as uh, it changed buildings, then they took out a chunk here and it took out a chunk there. But fortunately, they left this part of it. So that's kind of cool. Is there still hey? a mural inside the hardware store? There's no mural inside the hardware store. There used to be a painting inside of the hardware store. When it was a hardware. Yeah, th there was a picture. In, in fact, there's a picture of Laurel and Hardy in a Model T driving that they thought that was original. It wasn't. It was Martin Copper and I dressed as Oliver Hardy for a pie fight we had out there and we pulled up with that. Gather here under the shade. You're going to turn to the next page. So we're starting with picture number five. Gather up in the shade. Move on down a little farther is good. Okay, if you look across the way here, the west side print in uh, print center, that's going to be the picture above uh, Hardy on the left side that used to be the, the shoe shop. And you look to the right, the world of art, and you see that both of them have not changed too much, although the print center has been remodeled a little more. And Laurel and Hardy would have been sitting in the middle of the street here by the crosswalk. This is from Hats Off. Notice the railroad crossing, that would have been the tracks going down the medium of, Culver, of Venice Boulevard. Obviously, they're no longer there. 1950. Yeah, 1950, they went away. Yep. Having the time of our life. Mm. You could look at number six, the building um, has changed a little bit as well. And then uh, part number seven, you're looking at uh, Bacon Grabbers, Laurel and Hardy turned off of Venice Boulevard. That's Bagley Street that they're turning right like that car's doing. And that's the world of art on number seven. Okay. Number six is across the way also. Yeah, across the street, right next to the world of art. It's amazing how similar the, I mean, how they, right. do you think it would have changed so dramatically? Yeah. And it, it's right across the way. See the doorway? Okay. And, and the windows have changed along the side. Yep, I see that now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're about ready to go. I hope. No, they're going to let him turn left. You can see that's about where that would have been without the tree. You can use the shade here to look number nine, looking that direction. It's across the way, 815 and in the pizza place and the hotel all of those are all shown in the so look at 9b the tree the tree's still there the pizza place is the the short one 3815 is the one on the right where there's a car like that all right you can just see the very tops of the buildings there kind of behind you there you see the awnings um, and they're kind of still Laurel and Hardy and two tars would have pulled just around this street here this building would have been shown to my right as well as the 3840 and 42 and then if you turn the page for number 11 a they're running down the street this direction coming over there and you see the turn as well and at the corner the fire hydrant's still there. The thing that you see, um, just as they turn around the corner, would have been the Adams Hotel. Remember, this street went directly straight in front of the hotel. There was no palm trees or anything nice there. That was part of Main Street. They cut that in half. About halfway from here is Bagley Avenue on that side. This is Main Street, and they claim it's the shortest Main Street in the world. It's only like 
four or five shops because Bagley goes the other direction. So Main Street would have gone all the way across and uh, now it doesn't do that. So the white building across the way would have been the Adams Hotel. You also see on picture 12, they came around that corner in duck soup on the bicycle. And on number 13, Hardy ran to the middle of the intersection um, for the Cobra Hotel there. And stopped exactly there. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let me get out of your way and take your pictures and then come to the corner. I didn't realize you were so popular here. All the yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you see me in my beach attire, that was Come over here. In 1977, oh, Alan and I dropped our pants in the alley. <laughs> We're just going to show you our tushes right here. So look back. <laughs> He's kidding. Okay. No, this is exactly where that alley was in Liberty. It was an alley. It was an alley. There was a brick wall. Uh, we came maybe a little bit further up over there, but Alan and I, when we were taking the planning convention tour, uh, did this little thing and we both dropped our pants and I think they got rid of the neck. Well, I'm wearing a thong today, so it won't be pretty. Won't be pretty. Trust, I'm not trust wearing me. anything. No, see, I got a little bit of Pottsville, too. Uh, so, remember the street would have came directly across that way, so right over here, just in the street, would have been where Harlow stood. Uh, and Hardy ran around, the Laurel Hardy ran around, and uh, there was a taxi cab. Well, at the end of July, so. But thanks so much for coming. I just love, I love to see No worries. Okay, the, those of you that are just arriving, we're on pages 16, or page 12, 16A. And 16B is the facade here. This is exactly where it stood. And uh, as you can tell, it's very similar to what it was. And then uh, the, the white car right there is probably where they would have been sitting in 16C. And you see the little arrow that, that points out <coughs> a little marker there. That's the water tower of the MGM Studios. <coughs> so we're actually that close to MGM. You can kind of see down that way. This building here was the Sony complex where you had lunch on what seemed like three weeks ago. <laughs> well maybe we better get out of town. Now how are we gonna get out of town? Well, we got a car. So what are we gonna run it on? On the road. On the road. What are we going to use for gas? Well, we got enough money to buy some gas. Not enough to go as far as I want to go. Say, that gives me an idea. Why, why don't we advertise for somebody to go with us? What do we want somebody to go with us for? Help drive and, and share expenses. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, take a few moments for that to come up, guys. In the meantime, blow on your neighbors. <laughs> I beg oh, your no. pardon. Well, uh, no, wait, wait. Oh, no, no. What kind of minds you guys have? <laughs> oh, yeah. How many stairs? What are you doing here? This is the house that guy owns. That's all. Oh, yeah. See, it's several. Oh, okay. 
And what, why, what's, yeah. what about this house? This is hats off. Oh.
Also wir sind jetzt am Grab von Stan Laurel und es ist für mich fantastisch hier zu sein, nachdem wir eben schon emotional bei Olli am Grab waren. Lieber Stan, ich bin bei dir. Es ist einfach super. Vielen Dank. Thank you very much.